different about me. And if you haven't, then I did dye my hair. And the great thing about it is I dyed it myself. And this was the first time dyeing my hair myself. And I don't know why I hadn't done it in the past. Like, it went so smoothly and great. And I have been spending all this money when I could have just been paying $9 and done it and been over with. Going to show you the complete process of how I dyed my hair. It's just going to be what I thought of the product, how it went, and the good things and bad things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I guess let's show you how I dyed my hair. The hair dye that I am going to be using is the Garnier Olea and this is an oil powered permanent color and it has 60% oil blend and it has no ammonia so that is a good plus sign about this hair dye and I got my color in dark brown which is 4.0 so I'm just going to go ahead and open it and show you everything that comes in it so first it comes with this tube which this is going to be what you apply the hair color and the developer in and you're going to shake it up and that's what you're going to use to apply it onto your hair then you have the after color conditioner and the good thing about this it labels the numbers so you know in case you forget you can just look and be like okay this is the last step that I use and this is a pretty good size bottle for conditioner so that's a plus okay and then also you have the developer and this is what you mix with the hair color to help it lift and get that color that you want and then of course you have the actual color and um, I like to make sure that on the back it's the same number that um, the box says because we don't want to get a different number and have the wrong hair color and it also comes with a instruction pamphlet Okay. And it also comes with a pair of gloves. And honestly, I have never dyed my hair by myself, but as looking at all the other ones, I feel like they came with like those clear gloves, and those clear gloves tend to slip off. But these are a lot more um, good quality, and I feel like they're going to be easier to apply the dye. And then, of course, like I said, it comes with the instructions. So, um, yeah, it looks pretty simple. Um, that's everything. I'm going to keep the box just for, like, extra stuff if I need to throw anything away and all of that good stuff. And then this just shows you step by step. Um, it's also pretty awesome because it shows you what it comes with. And it has, um, like, pictorials and all of that stuff. So it's not just like, oh, this is what you do. It actually shows you how to do it. So we're going to put on the gloves. Oh yes, these are like really nice gloves. They actually fit and are not big. Usually gloves, like any type of cleaning gloves or anything like that, they always like slip off of my hand. Okay, so next it says to put on your gloves and unscrew the applicator. And then you're going to twist off the discard tip. So I'm guessing this part. I'm just going to twist that off. And then we're first going to squeeze contents of the developer and the colorant. And it says one and two. So I'm just going to look at the number and we're just going to squeeze all of that in there. And this is a actual like big bottle. And, but honestly, there is not a lot of product in here. So that's really surprising. But I will have to say the quality of the products and packaging and all that stuff is actually really good and um, I actually purchased this for um, I believe after tax it was like nine nine dollars and something and I know there are some places that you can get hair dye discounted but I like to be sure that I'm getting the real deal I don't want to buy a cheap um, brand or cheap um, knock off, especially when it comes to hair dye. So, I want to be safe about that. Next, I'm going to do number two and put the color in there. And actually, I was watching some videos and honestly didn't even realize how to do this. But if you take the top, you turn it upside down and pierce it, 
and that's how you open that like I've seen the pointed things before like on these little tubes and didn't even realize what it was for like am I just dumb or what okay so I'm just going to get all of that again this product is also or this tube is very hard to squeeze so make sure you get all of the product. I know sometimes um, it says that if you have hair um, that is longer than your shoulders that you need to get um, two hair dyes but I'm just going to go with one and hope that it covers all of my hair. Place the applicator securely on the mixing jar, cover the top with your glove and finger, hold away from your face and shake thoroughly. It doesn't necessarily tell how long to shake it, so we're just going to shake it really good. We want to make sure that the color is mixed, mixed very well. So now after we've prepared it, it's time to do the dye. The first step to dyeing my hair is I went ahead and combed all of it out because if you have tangles in your hair, it's just going to be harder for the dye to get completely through it and a good result. So I wanted to make sure there were no tangles and then I split my hair from the back two sides and brought it to the front and then I sectioned it out into four other sections. So I put up the bottom two sections in a ponytail just to get those out of the way and then I left the top two sections open because I was going to dye those sections first. So after I got those tied up, I started with my roots. And this is just a total process. I would just raise up my hair, um, color in the roots, and then put the hair to the side. And you'll understand what I'm doing in just a minute. Um, make sure once you put the dye in there to rub it in, you want to make sure it completely gets and covers your roots. So I'm just going to draw a line fill it in and put the hair over and it's just over and over but I wanted to do my roots first because I wanted to get those out of the way they're sort of the hardest to get the color on so after you get the roots you're pretty much um, easy from there you can just fill it in and you know go however you'd like but I like to start this as the process and just go from there so after I got one side I just put it over to the side and did the same exact thing for the other side and when it came to the back of my hair, um, there wasn't really a certain way that I did it. I just kind of felt around to make sure it seemed like I was getting all of it. And if you do have an extra person hand in your house, um, I asked my mom to make sure I got all of the dye and there wasn't any like missing spots because that would be horrible. But um, I just tried my best and just completely put the hair dye everywhere I could. bottom I just kind of put the dye in my hand and then just kind of rubbed it in from there uh, I didn't have a certain technique after that point I was just kind of using all of the extra dye because I had a lot left over and so I just wanted to put it everywhere to make sure I wasn't missing anything and the last thing I did was I put my hair up and I used a trash bag or plastic bag and the reason I did this is because it traps in the heat and it helps the color to develop a lot more and unfortunately, I um, took out the footage for the when I rinsed it out because it was a complete mess. Um, but what I did, I just rinsed it out after um, 20 minutes or 30 minutes, my bad, and uh, made sure the water was clean um, and clear. And then after I did that, I took the whole bottle of conditioner and put it in and let it set for about three minutes. And then after the conditioner was set, I rinsed it out again. And now I'm to blow drying. Um, some people don't use all of the conditioner. I did because I just didn't want to really use it again. I just want to kind of use it all on it because I wanted to make sure my hair was completely conditioned and healthy and felt new and all of that. So now I'm just blow drying my hair as I usually do. <laughs> I have a different technique, but you know, it's how I get it done. And after 
after I blow dried it, I was done. So I know the lighting is horrible, but if you all would like to hear my complete review of the product and how it worked for me, then just keep watching. After showing you the complete process of how I dyed my hair, um, I want to first say how much I loved the product for the price. Um, I will list everything down below just in case you want to know details and everything of where I got it, how much, the type, the color, and all of that good stuff. But I will have to say the packaging was very well um, made. It was good quality. It wasn't cheap. Um, there was a ton of product. I had a ton of product left over. They weren't really stingy with any of it. Um, just a box, the overall um, appearance of it, and just the packaging. I will have to give it a thumbs up. And not only was the packaging good, but the quality and um, um, thickness of it. I did like the fact that when I was putting on the dye, it wasn't like running everywhere, but it was actually a thick consistency. So it stayed on my hair and I didn't have to worry about making a huge mess. The gloves were amazing. They didn't slide off. Um, they had enough, uh, what is it, traction. So like I could actually put my hair up and mess it around and put it in the different sections that I needed. And it worked out great. The color payoff is amazing. I don't know if you all saw my last video, um, but my hair was so light and so dry, and um, I just wanted to go back dark. This is my natural color, and I just loved how it turned out. I do have my extensions in. <laughs> my hair did not grow overnight, but yes, they match perfectly, and I'm so excited I have to wear them again. Another thing is the smell was not horrible. You know, when you go into a shop and you smell just like hair dye, it was not that type. It was, um, it actually smelled kind of good. Um, the conditioner it gave, there was so much in it, and literally after I dyed my hair and washed it in silent, it was so shiny and soft, I was like, did I really just dye my hair? Like, it was crazy. But overall, I would give the Garnier Olea a great thumbs up, 10 out of 10. I would definitely do it again. And if you're scared of dyeing your hair yourself, I wouldn't recommend doing it if you're doing like highlights or low lights or ombre. But if you're a natural blonde and you want to dye it blonde or like me, brown and go brown, I would definitely recommend a box dye. Um, definitely the Garnier, Garnier Olea. It has great oils and it makes your hair feel so great afterwards. And um, I do recommend, even though you dye and it does feel good, um, just take care of your hair, do a deep mask on it, take some vitamins for it, such as biotin, and yeah, it will just overall help your hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was so excited to actually film it. I don't know why, but um, you know, I looked at so many videos and I was like, I should do this for other people who want to watch these types of videos. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you like these review and demo types of um, videos. And I will definitely put up more because I like to try out new things and show you how they work and all that good stuff. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!